Welcome to Data Channel. This video will demonstrate how to move your offline conversions data from your Amazon Redshift warehouse to Facebook ads using Data Channel. There are two methods to move your data from your data warehouse. First one is to move your data directly from the table or view from your warehouse. Second is by using a data model where you can define your SQL query. From Reverse Seat Yell, go to All Destinations section. Then search and select Facebook Ads Data Destination. Click on Ad icon for credentials authorization. Provide any name for your reference and use OAuth to add credentials. Click on Add Data Sync to start adding reverse syncs to your account. Select the added credentials and click on Next. Select Offline Conversions and click on Next. Select the account name from the dropdown. You can either fetch your data directly from table slash views in your warehouse, or you can use a data model. When selecting table or view, you need to select your added Amazon Redshift warehouse. All warehouses added to your account will be listed here. Then select the desired table. If you want to fetch data using a data model, then you need to first create a data model in the Data Model section. After creating the data model, select your desired data model from the dropdown. Now once Fetch from Table or Data Model has been selected, you need to map the target fields with source fields. Note that it is mandatory to map the email, event name, event time, currency, and phone number fields. Select the required fetch mode. Incremental will fetch the fresh records added since last fetch. Full will fetch all data from the selected table or view. Specify the conversion event ID and click on next. Schedule or manually run the reverse sync. You may also use the advanced scheduling options for more fine-grained control. Provide a name and description to the reverse sync for your reference. Choose the desired notification settings. Mark the Run After Save checkbox if you desire to immediately run the reverse sync after saving. Click on Submit. Once your reverse sync is configured successfully, you will be redirected to this screen, where you can view your run status. Please note that no logs are available when the reverse sync is still running. Click on View Logs to access the logs of the reverse sync run. 